Hi, I'm Adam and thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'll show you how to get rid of the vertical lines, also known as jail bars, that can sometimes be seen on the Ultimate 64. From my personal experience, it seems that how obvious these vertical lines are depend on what is being displayed. Therefore, I have set the background color to brown as this makes the jail bars particularly visible. The good news is that no hardware modifications are required since the fix is in firmware. So head on over to ultimate64.com forward slash firmware where you'll see the latest version at the time of recording this was 1.24. If we scroll down the page a little you'll see a bunch of changes, new features and bug fixes. The one we're interested in is jailbar issue on HDMI. So go ahead and download this firmware. Once downloaded you'll need to extract the zip file. Within this zip file, the actual firmware file that we need is update.u64. You'll need to copy this to a USB stick that you'll insert into the Ultimate 64. Or, if you have an internal USB stick, then you can use an FTP client to copy it. So for this video, I'm going to use WinSCP and connect to the IP address of my Ultimate 64. And when prompted for a username or password, simply leave it blank. Here's my USB stick attached to my Ultimate 64. If I drill down into it, you'll see the file structure that I've created. I want the firmware folder, and now the Ultimate 64 folder, and I'll drop the firmware into here. One thing I'm going to do to make it a little easier to identify the various firmware versions moving forward is to rename it. So this is version 1.24. Next I'll pop over to the Ultimate 64 menu and initiate the firmware update. To do this enter the USB stick, navigate to the firmware, press return and select run update. Sit back a while and maybe even grab a cup of tea. For the purpose of this video I've sped up this next section. Another thing to point out is that my HDMI capture device seems to make the gel bars a little less prominent. Here I chose to reset all configuration in the Ultimate 64 but you do not need to do this. The Ultimate 64 then reboots. Please note that yours may look different to this depending on which virtual cartridge you have attached. My first impression looking at this picture is that the jail bars have gone completely. Let's enter the Ultimate 64 menu. Yes, this definitely looks better to me now. But for a fair comparison, let's set the colors back to what they were when we started. So the background color is set to brown and the border color set to blue. and yes, save changes. Yeah, this looks really good now and I can see no evidence of the jail bars at all. So the firmware has done a really good job at fixing this problem. Now let's see what the image looks like on a television screen. As you can see, this looks really great and there's no evidence of jail bars at all. Right, I'm just going to set the menu to some nicer colors. Let's go with the background blue, border light blue, and select it as red. The joystick swapper is a new feature supported by the Elite version of the board. I'm going to change the digital video mode to HDMI so that I get sound out as well. Let's also try adding some scan lines, yes. This does look a lot better now. Thanks for watching. To be notified of new videos, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Bye.